Over 32 million Americans have reading and writing challenges, and it's tough in this economy to find a job for those people, Mariah. That's right. And State of Events' Justin Mendoza spoke with one Bay Area woman who is determined to find a job despite her challenge. Patty Rosado is like many Americans, trying to find a job in a very competitive job market. She wants another job with a higher salary so she can't afford the monthly cost of health benefits. However, Rosado has had challenges with reading and writing most of her life, and it has discouraged her in one way or another. It actually prevents me from doing a lot of things. I have, I, well, for instance, looking for, uh, when I went to go look for another job, um, the challenges of filling out an application. Some of the challenges is not just reading and writing, but also other people face challenges with the computer as well. Leon Thiel, a Project Read mentor who once had literacy issues, says applying for a job these days is more difficult for Americans with literacy challenges. Most applications are done electronically, and so learners face these big, big obstacles that our society now has moved into a more electronic society rather than a paper society and rather than a one-on-one -on -one society. Rosado thinks the online job applications are intimidating. For instance, a lot of the applications you do are online now, and there's always a time limit on it. Rosado has improved remarkably in her literacy skills and encourages other literacy learners and job seekers not to give up. Don't be so scared to ask for help, because if you could ask for help one time, you could do it a second time, and you, from then on, you'll feel more comfortable. In Daly City, Justin Mendoza for State of Events.